What's going on cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here guys and I hope everybody's doing well and happy 2022. Welcome back everybody. It's been a long time since I posted a video and I want to do a recap video of everything I've got going on over here at the house. Uh, the Chia mining, the hard drive mining with the CPU mining, graphics card mining, and everything I've basically I'm just kind of tinkering around my house uh, if you guys don't know I'm just a guy in the garage who started now about seven years ago I'm just trying to put his gaming computer to work I actually love playing EverQuest and World of Warcraft and found ways of um, trying to make a passive income uh, with my computer hardware and that's kind of started uh, seven years ago this journey originally started for me actually back in 2011 <laughs> when i chose a raid over mining uh, bitcoin back in <laughs> 2011 but that's another story for another day so guys i love my games but be willing to turn off your game or spend a little bit of time on crypto i learned the hard way back in the early days but it's been a full seven years now and uh, I've been doing a lot of different things. I just wanted to give you guys a recap of uh, you know, who I am and what's going on and uh, what we're doing in the garage. And, uh, you know, we've had two beautiful children. It's uh, gotten married over this time frame. We've done a lot of traveling, a lot of shows. Um, it, it's just been, it's been a whirlwind. Uh, and I wanted to kind of do a quick recap of, hey, you know, what's going on here with the channel. I'm hoping to be getting out some more videos. And um, what am I doing these days? What am I looking into? And what am I mining? And why am I mining these projects? Or why am I looking at these projects? So as you guys may or may not know, I'm a builder. I've uh, built houses, neighborhoods, shopping centers, uh, you name it over the years. And, and very much into green energy and where energy comes from uh, and things along those lines and power costs so that's kind of been a real big focus point on me uh, with me uh, I have not gotten as far as I would hope uh, with the green energy over this time frame but but these days are coming and I, I do see a, a future and some plans that we plan on working on that but again that's a video for another day um, so with that said I'm focused on very energy efficient ways of mining I originally started with ASIC miners. They are very loud. They use a lot of power, and especially these days, <laughs> they use a lot more power. And it's very something hard to mine at the house. And mining at the house has kind of gone away. You know, I want to bring back home mining. And I think a lot of people are mining still with GPUs uh, and doing things at their house. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of hard drives behind me. This is over one petahash, it's 1.1 petahash with a hard drives of mining Chia. So this is all mining Chia, I've got it all set up. Uh, so this is like a quick Chia update. And I found it really easy. I have everything running through these four uh, rigs right here. So each one is a harvester running to my main node. I can easily switch between each individual computer just by using this. Uh, everything's tied into the exact same mouse right here. So I can kind of check on my Chia farming this whole setup, as you can see, uses only 575 watts. I actually find this as an easy way to check my drives. As you can see, it really stays pretty uh, localized within 30 watts or so. It doesn't fluctuate too much at all. Uh, as you can see, probably just because I flipped between some of the uh, computers, it's fluctuating a little bit more. But this is a way that I can tell that all my hard drives are working or if there's a problem uh, I find that much easier, too, than also watching the plot count. Uh, so it's just under 11,000 plot count. Uh, and again, this is all about making a passive income at your house. Now, unfortunately, Chia, I don't suggest doing the hard drive method. If you do have hard drives, there's probably other ways of doing things. But I um, got in right at the kind of the early days, right when they made it public. Uh, so I just kind of barely skated by with it. I think some people have done really well. I think some people have gotten hurt pretty bad. I think it's all about your entry point, and I've tried to stress that in my videos before. Uh, don't chase things, plan, have backup plans, and do different things. Um, so again, it's all about producing a, you know, a passive income and using your power at your house uh, as much as efficiently as possible. You have an average US house has about 200 amps, a give or take. 
uh, where you know it depends on if you have an older house, your wiring structures and stuff like that. So you also need to be careful about how much wattage and amps you're pulling and where you're pulling that. Now, right here, guys, is a uh, triple system I've just recently built. Uh, Black Friday, this is my Black Friday rig, if you will. Uh, so I'm actually CPU mining Varus over here uh, with my Black Friday mining rig. So these are all fairly new hardware updates at the house. Uh, this one over here is, you know, back, I think we did this back in April. I started uh, with the Chia mining. Uh, then this we just did on Black Friday. So I've got a, actually this system, if you pay attention here, there are three power supplies. One, two, three. And that's because I have three computers in this one box. Uh, and I'm only using a two-way switch here to make this pretty simple. So I can just kind of switch between uh, the different computers or, you know, kind of switch, plug into the front one here. So let me go ahead and open this up. So this is 3950X, uh, 5950Xs, excuse me, um, in this rig here. So this is a full-size tough motherboard. And then there are two micro boards in the back. Uh, you know, actually, these two micro boards I got on sale Black Friday for 150 perform very well for what they are. Uh, and, you know, kind of learning, testing, and kind of getting in with the CPU mining. I think a lot of people got in with uh, Raptorium mining. Uh, though this is a little loud, so I'll uh, probably step back a little bit more so you guys can hear me a little clearer. Um, but, you know, I think a lot of people got in with Raptorium mining. I've been building CPU mining rigs for mining Veras for years uh, now. We'll talk about the uh, 3990X rig I built almost two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. Uh, we'll have to post that video down below. Um, that rig, Mining Varus, paid for itself. I think it cost me about 7,000, 6,500 to build. And it paid for itself in about six or eight months, Mining Varus, and it's paid for itself probably, oof, I don't know, 10 times over now at this point. Um, but you know, again, these are all homed in videos, but I'm just kind of showing you guys how to pick what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and I'm really focused in on energy efficiency. And this particular setup here, a CPU mining, even though I have big power supply, 1600s, I just happen to have a, a few of them on hand so I didn't have to buy any. Uh, they're overclocked uh, and set to where they're pretty much tweaked, running at right about 150 watts. And actually a little even better. So, as you can see, they're producing about 100, uh, they're pulling about 130 watts. And they're staying pretty cool. Uh, and they're producing right around 50 mega hash, give or take, on this rig. But they do need the added cooling from the fans back there. And just so you know, when I did this, I did each one is plugged into its own fan. So just in case these window systems, one is off, there's always one fan running. I can probably do like a custom video on this. I don't want to focus on this rig too much, but I thought this was a pretty neat idea. I've got some room back there where I'm going to run some cell phones as well. Uh, so you can cell phone mine Varus. Uh, so I'm going to kind of make this, the idea is to make this a really efficient CPU slash cell phone mining rig. Uh, that's what this hot plate is here for, to buy broken old cell phones and kind of start getting into that. Uh, a little bit and try to start setting that up as long with the kit as you guys can see with the Christmas tree so this is one of Santa's gifts to kind of get going and cover this up so I'm sure you're wondering about these cases these are custom designed server cases if you guys are ever interested in them uh, send me an email I'll usually list my email uh, down in the description below uh, this actually is an extended case if I remember correctly this holds 10 cards, maybe 12 cards. Um, we played with some different designs and different ones. Our six card case was our main standard rig. Um, we can get these really reasonable price, uh, probably right around $130, give or take. But the minimum order is probably gonna be about 80 to 100. We'd have to do a community ball order, people interested. But anyways, um, we did, so you guys can always find these things used, dirt cheap. This is like a U4 case. Um, you don't, we don't have to get into any kind of order, but you guys can just kind of tear the guts apart and just use them as wind channels. Um, you can find them for like 30 bucks on eBay in different places. All right, 
So this all said and done is about 150 mega hashes and it only pulls about 450 watts. Again, I want to add some cell phones in there. So we're right or under 600 watts over here, 450 watts right here uh, with this one mining. Now, I, I do want to do a quick recap on good old Red Miner. This guy has been around and served me well for years. I have finally retired this guy. Oh, I want to say when the summer got going this year. Um, went ahead and pulled the final four gig cards out of here and put them in a case that are downstairs, which we're going to go take a look at uh, into the mining box. Um, and that's kind of where we're heating the house. So I don't pay for heat. I haven't paid for heat in years. Uh, and this is a filtered box, so it pulls air from the bottom with the filter down there. And I'm looking at ordering some of the new A2000s, the A4000s to kind of kind of clean up this box and revitalize it. Okay, there's, as you can see, a couple more rigs stacked right here. Uh, these are also 3900Xs mining Varus. These were the plotters, if you guys watched my Chia video, that I uh, told you I was using to plot and then uh, use for Chia uh, Varus mining. So all of these rigs have done very well already if they have not already paid for themselves. And then here's another one. As you can see, I had to duct tape the drive into this one. Sometimes you have to make custom modification with these cases if you want to use cards like that. Um, the one I use is put like an L bracket upstairs. But anyways, there's a few more cases here. So I've got a total overall of five 3900Xs or so. Um, three of the 5950Xs, um, all mining Varus. So each one of the 3900Xs are pulling about 150 watts each. Now, granted, this is not at the wall. It, it's just a little bit more over that. Now, all of these rigs is going to be, have the capability to merge mine uh, once that's coming up. So I'm going to be making some other videos kind of explaining why I'm building all of this and putting these infrastructures and explaining what, you know, what makes Varus worth it, why is it different, and what's the, you know, the crazy advantage to miners and stakers and really how it's the people's network. Um, you know, it's very interesting. It's kind of much like Chia. You know, Chia had a, a legacy uh, developer. Um, you know, Varus also, also has a legacy developer. He's the made lead developer for Windows 95. He's one of our internet founding fathers. He wrote the .NET protocol. He's, you know, wrote, he's the lead developer for Java. Anyways, the list goes on. We'll get more into this stuff later on. But this, you know, kind of is an update mining video what I'm doing at the house. And, you know, I want to go ahead and head out to the shop now. Actually, let's head on down to the um, upstairs and then we'll go to the dungeon. All right, guys, this is the beast. <laughs> this guy is a monster. Uh, this is kind of doubles as my VR rig. Um, so whenever I want to hang out and play some VR, uh, if you guys are ever into that, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what guys, what games you're playing, what you guys are up to. Probably, you know, me and my friends just hang out and chit chat, play mini golf, have uh, <laughs> VR stuff, kind of boring things. I need to get into more exciting things. But um, this is the bad boy mining rig that has a hundred and twenty eight threads this monster overclocked will produce a hundred and i think it was 170 mega hashes um on Veros for about 700 watts at the wall at a 320 watts at the wall is what it's at right now which is actually just stock settings so you just overclock the ram and have it at stock settings it's extremely efficient. So when we're talking about mining Varus, the there this is the between this and cell phones, ARM chips are the most efficient. Uh, this will produce about 140 mega hash at about 320 watts, where a cell phone will produce about five mega hash depending on the phone. Obviously, three to five, and there's also uh, Rock 64 chips and you know all the other uh, ARM chips that you guys can mine with. And they're somewhere right around, each one's going to be different. But uh, cell phones might be four to five mega hashes for eight watts or so, maybe even six watts, depending on the phone. So 
you guys can do the math, but it, it's extremely efficient. And of course, this is a uh, you know un <laughs> altered or unlocked uh, 3080. So my buddy is only able to get my hands on one of them. If you guys caught that in the video, it's been mining ETH for quite a while. So uh, yeah. This rig right now, um, mining Ethereum, is pulling 720 kilowatts. Uh, so that's actually about 729 watts. So again, I'm really talking about the power and the efficiency and the things that we're able to do at the house. Uh, so remember, we're adding up what I'm doing and how very little wattage I'm able to produce quite a bit of hash uh, just here at my house alone. And you know, remember it was 700, 600 watts on Chia, um, 450 watts or so plus, I think it's about a thousand watts in CPUs downstairs in the hard, in the uh, garage area. And then this guy with the mining ETH, which is producing about 90, 90, 95 mega hashes, um, along with the CPU, so mining Varus. So let's go on down to the mining box. And I bet you wonder why we're looking at an air conditioning system downstairs right now. Well, we are looking at an air conditioning system because if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, if not, that I have not paid for heat in my house for seven years. That's because if you know anything about air conditioning systems, there's two sides. There's a return side and there's a supply side. The return side, we have ducted it into a box. So the return that is in the house has a filter on it like normal, but instead of coming directly to the unit, it goes to a box, which I'm about to show you now. And this is how we preheat the air going into the system so it doesn't have to run heat um, rarely, if at all, because I'm able to produce enough heat or use the byproducts from what I'm mining. So let's go over and look at that. So here you go, guys. This is the box. This is just a box in my basement slash oversized crawl space. So I'm under the house and we have built a box that ties into the ac system as you can see right there uh, that is goes to the air box or the vent upstairs and then this is the draw that connects to the ac system and all this box is doing is acting as a chamber and we run the computers within this chamber we ran power uh, to the back of the box over here these are all running 240 so you have to remember when you're running a lot of things uh, to run them on 240 as much as possible versus 110 because of the amperage. Remember I said most houses uh, only have 200 amps, uh, the feeds to their house. So amps are always going to count a lot. And you're, whenever you can run these machines on 240 or better off uh, versus like where I was in the garage, those are running on 110. So they're, it's not that it's costing me more money and power, but that it takes more um, amps to push so 110 takes a higher amps to push it across the line where 240 can push the electricity across the line using a lower amperage uh, i don't know if that's oversimplified or not but um it's kind of the basics but uh, yeah so i have you know this is a very simple setup you guys do don't waste your heat from your miners you know if you got too much heat going in one room uh pop a jumper box uh from one room to another with an inline duct uh you know you could even run something like this if you have a basement or a crawl space where you can just cut your return duct at a you know rather be some sort of tent rather it be a box you build or whatever you can to control the air uh, that's all we're trying to do is control the air and send the hot air through. Now, these are the six card rigs. This is a 1080, I think this one. So I've kind of kept only the basics at this point over the years. Uh, no, there's only one 1080 Ti in here. So there's one 1080 Ti, and these are the four remaining four gig cards. So. You know, as I told you guys, I've been mining for seven years now, and I'm all about 
keeping cards clean. I've been doing a lot of tasks. And if you guys have watched me and paid attention for years, uh, a lot of people just wear it, run open air rigs. And I was trying to advocate for dust and heat and keeping your cards cool and how long will they last. And a lot of these things were unknown back in the day, uh, especially when I was really getting started. And I'd like to prove and show the examples where I had rigs that were just cluttered in dust and, you know, oils running down them. And the cards just had a higher failure rate versus running them in this box type atmosphere. Uh, so the cards that are in here are probably roughly three years old right now, four years old. And this is what was left from the Red Miner. I think I had a two cards die uh, from the Red Miner uh, from this one. These two boxes now are my original cards. Um, so when I first started mining, I was mining right here with S. Uh, actually, I have to get the box out of the garage. Uh, I think it's in the uh, shop. I'll show you guys when we go to the shop. But I actually first started mining, like I said, back in 2011. But I started mining with um, S5s. Uh, I bought a couple of used S5s and got started and you know <laughs> this is really a big story but it was such a pain to be able to purchase these things and uh, ship them uh, pay you know to send money to China wire transfer and hope that you get them and so forth and that's when I got the S7s and I've always kept the S7s I don't know if a lot of people know this but uh, there's a kill switch and all the newer versions the S7s do not have the kill switch uh, put into them so I've kept quite a few of the S, not too many, a handful of the S7s um, uh, around because they do not have a kill switch built into them. Where the newer versions do have a kill switch. Uh, I think it's pretty common knowledge. I think there is a workaround. I don't know if they stopped the workaround or, if, you know, anyway. So, you know, so, but the people we really do the workaround and uh, so forth and get rid of this kill switch. So it's just kind of more of a fallback. Uh, time to be able to turn these things back on especially like when the uh, difficulty dropped drastically this summer there was a good window to turn them on especially if you had cheap enough power uh, speaking of power I pay I, I do some stuff here I'll have to teach you guys about how I do that here in North Carolina but I only pay uh, on average about six and a half cents at my house seven cents uh, for power so power here is pretty cheap um, at the shop we were getting about maybe four cents, four and a half cents. So if you know what you're doing, you could really get good power uh, and at a stable price and large amounts of it. Uh, these are a couple of the FPGA F1s over here. Um, that I've turned those guys off. I probably need to see if there's anything profitable, but there hasn't been anything worth uh, dabbling with those too much. Uh, I think you guys probably remember the videos on those. But let's go back up here to these cases because I'm actually really proud of these cards uh, a lot uh, because these are one of the original cards. These things are from like night from uh, 2016. These are Sapphire 488 game cards, and look at them. They look brand new. They've been in this box this entire time running away and mining ethereum these cards have mined thousands of ethereum over the years i just wished i held on to all of that ethereum i paid the power bills guys Woo -wee. i mean thousands these are my original two cards right here uh I, out of those cards i've had one die so i've still got 11 cards i think i got one replacement in the bottom in there but uh these cards again are running since 2016 uh so that's almost six years right now uh, these cards have been running five years six years i really have to check the date but i got them right when they came out uh i remember these were the torture cards and i rebuilt them in these cases so uh i these were so much fun i remember my first rig trying to put this thing together and get six cards running Oh, the days, the troubles. I'm sure you guys have loved these things as well. Uh, I remember it's bringing back so many memories. But uh, yeah, guys, these things run well. Uh, you can see this is an old H97 as anniversary board right there. Um, I, I can't remember if I upgraded this board or not, but uh, 
with it. But I'm very proud of you know running these cards and keeping them. I'm just gonna run them till they die. Like I said, they've mined those 12 cards have mined thousands of Ethereum's over the years. Um, and yeah, and these each rig pulls about 800 watts. So I think this one, the yeah, I'm not sure how much you have to do to especially in video cards these days. They're much easier in Hive OS. Um, but you used to have to BIOS mod these and tweak them. Uh, but these cards were all custom BIOS modded by me. I, you know, tried to tweak every little ounce out of them as much as possible. Uh, yeah, it was definitely a journey in doing that and learning how to do this. And, you know, this was all what taught me crypto mining were those 12 cards. And uh, obviously these ASICs and the other ASICs that are not running outside in the shop. Uh, and then that allowed us to move on to building warehouses and uh, teaching and, uh, and putting in massive infrastructures and just it's been one heck of a journey guys it has really been fun um, and I'm hoping to teach and share and learn the knowledge because this has been a life-changing opportunity for me my family and I wish I've had more opportunity to get in on YouTube and and do more of these videos you know I, I'm not you know as you know I've if you've been watching my channel i really didn't put my face on the channel until just recently the last couple of years uh you know i'm not really one to really make a lot of videos i don't pump them out regularly this isn't something that's kind of more to me i'm trying to teach you guys i want to share the knowledge i when i first got into this there was so much misinformation it was so hard to learn and even get started and it was just uh just such an obscure thing and um, this is just my journey, my travel to learning about cryptocurrency mining, how to think about energy and, you know, becoming and thinking about what is, you know, what is it going to affect the world and how is crypto going to change? And, um, wow, guys, I mean, I can go on, uh, about how all of these different things, if you guys make sure to check out my other videos, but power consumption is a very important factor to me and I, I do believe in Bitcoin and uh, I, I think that we've got to find ways of um, dealing with the power and being able to mine efficiently and, uh, and that again this is something that led me to Veris because they have the merge mining you know merge mining is capable now with Bitcoin mining with ASICs and Alactos but you can only do one one to one so you get a small additional percentage where they'll be able to do 22 simultaneously it's it's just revolutionary technology all this stuff is coming soon but anyways you guys have to stay tuned to the channel make sure to subscribe and uh, oh let's go check out the uh, solar setup out in the shop all right guys we're out in the shop if you haven't been out here already before it's a glass blowing shop although ever since my wrist injury i have not been out here at all but just wanted to give you a quick update on the mpp solar project uh, along with the battery i do have a second battery which i've never hooked up actually um but this project is actually going great it's got 500 watts of power and I really had messed with this thing for the longest time. I never followed up with all of the videos, kind of showing you guys how I did it. But yeah, it's just been out here running great, you know, with the pandemic and the new baby. And it's just been a whirlwind. I can't keep up. But uh, yeah, uh, this battery is just running like a champ. And it has been running this guy right up here. So this guy's long paid for itself. I think it was, you know, I think it'd be eighty dollars, maybe ninety dollars with all the bits and pieces, and it's been mining Veras just right away, three and a half mega hashes, just chugging right along. Um, it got turned off for a while, and I had to get it restarted back up, and I think it's running now. But yeah, this was kind of like the first real project. Believe it or not, that thing uh, is designed to pull about 8 watts, I think maybe 10 watts, 24 hours a day. So in theory, that thing running 24 hours a day will drain this battery in about 34 hours. So that was kind of the plan. So it had a little bit of a float and then the solar panel outside could charge it up. So those are the solar panels over there. Um, but yeah, guys, it's uh, been quite a bit of a journey. I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of what I'm doing at the house and how I'm trying to be as energy efficient as possible and why I'm targeting certain projects. 
Um, and there's some, a lot of studies and spreadsheets have been that uh, I want to kind of release or start talking with you guys about energy efficiency and, you know, what projects are more energy efficient versus some of the trade-offs. You know, obviously proof of stake is extremely energy efficient, but there's trade-offs versus proof of work. And what are those trade-offs? And these things are a lot of other videos and a lot of other things we need to think about, but rather I have the time to create them or not. I want to mention them in the video that I am creating so that these things at least spark a thought or something for you guys to consider. Um, or even something to look into. Rather, I'm able to create the video or the content. I'm hoping to teach and educate you guys on uh, what to do and what not to do. But, you know, I see that the market's down and everything's going on now. Um, don't worry, guys. There's always these cycles. If you go back and check out my videos, I try to explain how I see mining uh, difficulty and all of these different things and how the halving and all these other cycles play in. Uh, you know, it, it's a, you have to remember Bitcoin is not a inflationary currency. It's a deflationary currency. So uh, if you're upside down now, just hang in there, be patient. Um, it, there's a good chance that everything will turn around and be just fine. Um, speaking from experience, not financial advice, but you know, just hang in there guys. I know that the times are tough now, but this is the time to think about mining. You know, when there's blood in the water or blood in the streets, this is when you want to think about it. This is when you want to be buying. This is when you want to be setting up infrastructure and planning. And remember I mentioned the A2000 guys and the A4000s, those A2000s are just the hands down most efficient GPUs to um, use uh, for Ethereum mining, uh, especially. And, you know, the only catch I have with those, those they're only six gigabytes. How long are they going to last with the DAG file as well? Uh, what resale value are you going to have out of, out of the A2000s? And when you, is Ethereum ultimately going to switch? I mean, <laughs> like I said, I've been around for a while. Oh, yeah, Ethereum's going to switch. Um, but my personal opinion is they're getting much closer. Uh, I do think there's a strong chance we may see an attempt at switching uh, by the end of next year. If they don't, they'll definitely switch by the following year. So I, we've got anywhere from a year to two years left is my personal opinion. So I think now is the opportunity to really think about infrastructure, think about power, think about the energy, the most energy efficient cards you can. I don't know that we're going to see a crypto uh, winner this cycle. We may, may not. Uh, we may see what I would consider a super cycle. And um, it, we may just kind of tolly around this area we may even go down to maybe a little lower from this point but uh we we won't really crash we won't get down to ten thousand. i don't think at all uh, and then you know we'll get real close to the halving so there's if you think back in the halving guys the cycle or the excitement from the halving builds sooner and sooner so if it was starting to build six months out it may build eight months out it may build a year out and the next half thing is 2024 here we are 2023 all we got to do is round that clock one more year and we're a year out from the halving and people might start thinking about it and start getting excited again uh and this is where i'm saying you know if we do see a bear market it may not be anything like we've seen before um uh, so it's hard to say my personal opinion though is to hunker down guys and i'm getting hardware that's why i'm on these videos i'm trying to teach you guys i'm trying to educate you on what i'm doing why i'm doing it why i think these different things and you know where i'm at uh like i said i'm just smojo in the garage and just kind of uh tinkering and learning about uh cryptocurrency mining and wanted to teach you guys as much as possible i like to have fun with this but it is also serious and, a, and an opportunity to make a passive income for your family and also a way to think about generational wealth um so again guys i don't want to make this video too long <laughs> this has been a really long video but maybe some of you long timers will hang out and uh listen and see what's going on i welcome everybody that's new to the channel consider subscribing uh, I hope to be putting out some more videos, kind of teaching you guys about different things, you know, especially about mining and focusing more on that and how I feel about the market and, you know, kind of where I think it's going and the opportunity to 
you know, make a passive income and learn more about this. And I'm really also proud of all my fellow YouTubers out there that have uh, brought up the torch and just lit the fire and taught everybody. And, you know, I feel bad I haven't been able to keep up with everything and uh, teach you guys these things. But I remember when I first came out, there was just nobody. <laughs> there was just a handful of us, you know, nobody on mining. I think I was... The first, no, I was not the first uh, mining. I think there was one other mining channel actually. A Bits Be Trippin' beat me to, yeah, he's uh, probably about six months a year before me. But Bits Be Trippin', uh, definitely old school, old school. Uh, but yeah, other than him, I think was uh, around at one point. And I think he took a break and uh, right because I, I didn't find him till later on. And, and then me trying to teach you guys and get everybody going and, you know, again. Welcome to the Bitcoin Mining Channel, guys, and uh, thanks for hanging out and listening to me uh, chit-chat for this amount of time, and let's see what we get going on. Talk to you guys later on. See ya.